so for the interfacing of the bmp280 we have to follow the following steps so we will be going to open the i2c program to check whether my bmp280 is being connected properly with the esp32 or not so first what we have to do we have to do the wiring connection of the bmp280 then what we have to do we have to run the i2c scanner program to check that my address are being detected by the esp32 or not so what we have to do we have to check whether my bmp280 is been detected by the esp32 or not so what we have to do next is that we have to go on to the board selection so here we will going to write do it esp32 dev kit and then we will going to select the com port and then we will going to upload the program so you can see that it is compiling the sketch and it has been uploaded now we will going to open the serial monitor and we're going to see that whether my program which has been uploaded on the ESP32 that is the I2C scanner program is detecting my addresses of the BMP280 or not. Now we have opened the serial monitor and now you can see that no I2C device has been found. So we have to make the connections. So I'm doing the connection. So you can see that this is the connection of the BMP280 sensor with the ESP32. Okay, so we have got a 3.3 volt connected to the ESP32 as you can see in the figure. Okay, then we have got a ground. Okay, so we are making a ground connection to it. Okay, so the VCC is being connected to the 3.3 volt and then we have got a ground. So the ground wire has been connected to the ESP32 ground then we have got the SCL okay so you can see that the SCL is been connected with the pin number 22 and then we have got the SDA which is being connected with the pin number 21 so this is the interfacing of the BMP280 with the ESP32 so I have made my connections and now I will going to again open my serial monitor and we're going to see that my i2c scanner is able to detect my bmp280 board so i will going to upload the program on the esp32 and now you can see that scan started and now my i2c device found at the address number 0 cross 76 okay so we have perfectly done the interfacing of the bmp280 with the esp32 so now you have to change this addressing scheme whenever you are writing the bmp280 program with the esp32 so you have to give this address 0 cross 7 always remember that uh, whenever you are making a connection with the esp32 so you have to find out what is the valid address sometime address are being changed Okay, so it always be advisable that you should always run a I2C scanner program to find the valid address. So it will be also useful that whether your VMP280 is being detected by the ESP32 or not. Okay, so thank you. I hope you have understood this uh, interfacing of the BMP280 with the ESP32. And now you will be able to use the ESP32 with the BMP280 to detect the temperature and the pressure. Thank you once again for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe my channel.